Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. I uh, want to talk to you today about GFCI protection and um, basically it's the switching of it. So GFCI protection starts over here and then traces power over to this switch. And then from this switch, it goes down to an outlet. And then this switch tells the outlet what to do and the outlet then turns on uh, this um, it's kind of a, a, a transformer design here, but it's actually designed for low voltage for 12 volt lighting. It normally had a photo eye on it, but the photo eye, um, they just took it off and bypassed it. So that way this outlet is controlling this timer or actually the transformer. In a nutshell, it's no different than controlling basically a plug to a, uh, or excuse me, a switch to a plug and a plug to a, a garbage disposal. I mean, that's really how you have to see that. But basically, they have to hit the switch. Now, the switch is a smart switch, so they can do it from their phone to turn on that transformer. You gotta make sure that that, that uh, switch is rated for that load. And that's probably a six or 900 watt transformer. It is LED, so sometimes they're 150. But they have a lot of lights around here that'll light up. And then um, we got that outlet grounded for them and working for this uh, fountain as well they put in. So. Um, real pretty design, um, but yeah, just kind of a quick thing about how to trace that out um, Again, if you're having a hard time figuring out where that goes Remember that when the neutral dies on a GFCI, it doesn't have continuity back to your panel That's kind of a pointer that might help you uh, a little difficult with something this big They've got a little manhole over here that they've already covered up But that helps you to know that that's what goes to the fountain and from the fountain back over to here Anyways guys, thanks for joining us